we found that the severity of the disease of the COVID-19 in the patients that are in the intensive care unit develop abnormal lymphocyte cell death, suggesting that um, this may have an impact in terms of a protection of individual against COVID-19. Jérôme Estacquier, a researcher at the University of Laval Research Center in Quebec City, has been working in the field of AIDS research for 30 years. Now he and an international team found the reduction and loss of T lymphocytes, which is a type of white blood cell, is the same in those with COVID-19 and those who have AIDS. With 13,000 plus COVID-19 related deaths in Quebec alone, his research published in the journal Cell Death and Differentiation could be a breakthrough when it comes to the mortality rate. During COVID infection, 60% uh, of a patient uh, develop what like we call a lymphopenia. What this means is that we are losing lymphocytes which are essential to fight against microbial viruses like COVID-19. T lymphocyte cells or white blood cells are vital to destroying any virus that enters the body. With the rapid death of these cells, those infected do not have the adequate immune response. With this discovery, Estakie says we are able to be more proactive for those with COVID-19 in intensive care. Using a small compound, we were capable to restore, to prevent CD4 T cell death in COVID patient. So suggesting that if we are improving the capacity of uh, T cell immune response, this may have some beneficial effect uh, to reinforce the de immune defense against COVID. The team has managed to reduce the cell death by 60%, adding that this discovery could allow for early treatment to support the immune defense for those with both AIDS and COVID-19. This is uh, the next step, of course, to do and to develop a trial, a clinical trial, to assess whether the compound that we identified in this manuscript have the capacity to prevent uh, the immunodeficiency that we observe in the severe disease uh, patient. Estakier says he hopes his research will be sustained and funded as this discovery is important to provide a new therapeutic approach, one that will allow for a better immune response for those who would otherwise be in critical care. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.